Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Edgar TV 11. Um, so I, I bet you're probably wondering where my face is. Well, I recorded this guys with face cam. Um, you know, went about it as I usually would, but the microphone must have slipped out at some stage. I don't know, man. I must have moved my foot and it got dislodged or whatever, man. But the issue is we have no face cam. We have a postcom. Getting on to the episode, guys. Um, we have Watford. We have West Ham. There's a game in between... Um, both Besiktas games in the Europa League, but um, that is what you'll be watching, two Besiktas games and a West Ham game. We do sim the first game against Watford, so um, yeah man, absolutely a pretty interesting uh, episode guys. Pretty shattered we missed out on Fast Camp because it was pretty epic, but without further ado, let's get on to it. So we begin against Watford guys, now we played them last time, we wiped them off the floor man. I mean, these guys didn't have a prayer, but they finished nil nil. It finished nil nil, so I thought to myself, you know what, I'm probably going to end up beating these guys. Let's see, mate. Let's give a few of the young guys a bit of a run and, you know, hope for the absolute best. So, um, here we go. We are simming and um, it was, you know, a pretty good result, guys. I'd have to say we opened up the scoring with Axel Witzel um, taking the penalties. I'm not sure why, but he returns villain. Witzel gets a red card. Must have been mouthing off. Must have been a nasty tackle. Uh, also, guys, that Chadley injury later on would prove to be a nasty one. Um, you know, he, he's not my first option, but I, I'd rather have him in the squad than not. And um, as you can see, we're winding down. It finishes 1-0. You know, a red card to Vitzel and a torn calf to Nasser Chadley. Six weeks out, just when it's about to get hectic. Not what you want to see, man. Not what you want to see at all. I mean, like I said, guys, you know, Nasser... By no means was my first choice, but as you can see here, there's the whole list of casualties that we have right now, and they're, they're important players, guys. I mean, Michel Vaughan was starting my keep, a starting keeper, Bentaleb was starting, you know, Eriksen was starting, uh, Chadley, you know, whenever I needed to call him up, he would be there, and, you know, I, I guess some of these guys would come back, but, you know, you'd rather have him in the squad than, you know, on, on the bench waiting to come back. Um, but here we go, guys. Here's the lineup for the uh, West Ham game. We did absolutely paste them last time, so I was pretty happy about that. You know, it's always nice to be the London team, but that man, Deli Alley, right there that you would have seen on your screen has been pretty good for us, guys. I mean, he's been an absolute hero, and, um, you know, he'd probably carry on in the same vein the way that he's going. But as you can see, guys, we've kicked off, and uh, we're moving it real smooth. Sebastian Roder picks up the ball here. Squares the ball to Harry Kane, and no, no indeed, I mean, you put your house on that, you'd put your house on that to Harry Kane to finish, but what can you do, man, and as you can see here, Nikita Jelovic working a bit of magic, we lose the ball cheaply, and bang, a little snapshot there from Samuelsen, and, um, you know, we very easily could have been punished there, Harry Kane bending one, just wide, just bloody wide, so, Harry Kane didn't really have his eye in, but, um, you know, it was positive signs, guys. I mean, we're playing well, defending well for the most part. I mean, they did get him behind once or twice. Nikita Jelovic was a bit of a worry because they were knocking balls to him. He was taking them down time after time. And, you know, if we were able to nullify that, we would have no issues. And onto the second half, as you can see, Son there playing it through to Harry Kane. Steps inside, bang. Quality save from the keeper. Um, you know, I, I've bought on an extra strike. I'm really trying to push this um, envelope forward trying to get that goal and I'm just wondering where is it gonna come from Harry Kane stepping inside again taking a shot deflection and it was just time after time man getting you know just frustrated but a huge turning point would pop up in the game guys a red card to West Ham United 78th minute I go all out attack man I'm throwing everything I have forward and then heroes come up guys heroes come up in a time of need Keita makes it 1-0. Now, guys, you don't understand how happy I was when this went in because I don't think Keita scores this about three months ago. I've been working like an animal on this guy's finishing. You know, his shot power's increased, his attacking position's increased. And I was just so happy about it, man. Like, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Creating monsters, guys that are going to, you know, just develop their game and, you know, become an absolute force for you guys. And as you can see there, squaring a ball back to uh, Cochran. Sadly, it was a little too far behind him, but the game would finish 1-0, guys. We pick up three points away from home. Doing the double over West Ham. 
pretty happy about that. I mean, no complaints. Hardly tested. Um, you know, going forward, we'll deny time after time. But we busted that door down, got ourselves to win, and got the hell out of there. And uh, this would be the lineup for the next game, guys, against Besiktas. Um, decent lineup. Decent lineup. You've got Cochran up top, Lamella behind him, Son and Keita on the wings. You had Dembele and uh, Witzel in the uh, midfield. So you had the Belgian connection there. Walker, Aldevarad, Vertong and Rose Loris. Now I decided after the Vitesse game, guys, that I was really going to make a push at the Europa League. You know, some quality teams left. And I thought, why not, man? Let's freaking have a go. Um, wherever we go, we go. But I'm going to have a red hot go at everything that I'm competing in. And um, guys, we would start off terrifically. As you can see here, Son whipping it in. Keeper punches out. I've, it's fallen to Keita. Passes to Walker. Has a bit of a shot. And OG. I mean, that's dirty, huh? <laughs> I was laughing at the time, I remember. But man, I'm taking that all bloody day. You're away from home in Turkey, in the Europa League. Um, and you open the scoring within five minutes. It's just a nasty deflection. Def you know, you're, you're expecting a defender to do better than that, especially a starting defender. And when it goes into the back of the net like that, you just scratch your head, man. But after that, man, Walker re rejuvenated, man. Became a bit of a winger, a bit of a nuisance. Powering through the defense there, squaring a ball up. Oh, no, not squaring a ball up. I should have squared the ball up. Uh, taking the shot, and I was getting, you know, a little heroic there, but definitely should have squared it up. Uh, we didn't have an opportunity from the corner, as you can see. Uh, Vertonghen just put that one wide. Really should be doing better with that. Then Cochrane would step in and put one freaking straight at the keeper. Well, not straight at the keeper, but it should be in the back of the net. No doubt about it. It's within the keeper's grasp, though. You know, you, you definitely expect something better there. Uh, Lamella trying a bit of a snapshot. Not much coming off for him at all. Uh, but, <clears throat> guys, we dominated the first half. Absolutely punished them. But after that, man, Besiktas, mate, they must have got the rev up of a lifetime because... Coming out of the second half, mate, absolute animals. I mean, tackling hard, pressing, running, taking shots, putting me under constant pressure. And that Hutchinson guy was an absolute monster. And as you can see there, Mario Gomez trying a bit of a scissor kick there, and it almost paid off for them. But deep into stoppage time, guys, they whip a ball in, no one touches it. It goes in, 1-1, one, one. just like that. Yes, just like that, guys, I mean, I just dropped my head. I mean, we defended, we battled right until the end. And just when I thought I'd seen the light at the end of the tunnel, they whip a ball in and it goes in like that. Initially pretty pissed off. But when you look at it, guys, it's the kind of goal you would see in real life, is it not? I mean, a ball whipped in deep, two guys competing for it, no one touches it, keeper misses it, he's sold. I mean, it's a nice touch, absolutely. So, um... Yeah, look, it's not ideal that it happened to me, but what can you do? The game would finish 1-1, guys. That's how close we came. It was actually the last kick. It did kick off, and that was all she wrote, mate. Finishes 1-1 in Turkey. But, you know, the important thing was that we got the away goal. We got something to take back to London. We would take him on over there, get the job done, hopefully. And, uh, guys, we had another steam the game. Uh, again, in the FA Cup against Blackburn Rovers. I thought to myself... What am I going to play? The FA Cup against a championship team that we will be, Or should I go and just hammer out that Besiktas game? That's what I was more pumped for, man. So I said to myself, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. We'll play the young guys. We should get the job done. And we're just going to have to power on from there. On the Besiktas game, what will be, will be. But as you can see, um, they actually beat Man United, which was a massive uh, surprise to me. Uh, Fazio opens the scoring for us guys must have been from a corner because that man does not score many at all But he's a big unit uh, Eric Lamella would score one just before halftime on the 35th minute good to see him on the score sheet I mean he hasn't been involved too much Hurricane will get himself a goal in the FA Cup. He's had a terrific season guys absolutely no doubt about it And I think there was a sec uh, a second goal for Lamella. No, no, there wasn't guys. They finished 3-0 so as you can see here, uh, we have the lineup for the Besiktas game. Very similar to the last one. Uh, Cochrane up top, Gabi Adini behind him, Son and Keita on the wings, Fitzo and Rhoda. Um, obviously we had um, Dembele in the last lineup, but for the most part, guys, we had a pretty uh, similar team to the last. A decent bench if I needed anyone to come on and make an impact, so I was ready to go. And uh, so were the boys, man. We kick off against Besiktas um, in London. 
White Hart Lane on a freaking, what was it, a, a Thursday night, just absolutely amped. And early on, man, Son stealing the ball, squaring it straight into Cochrane's feet on the half volley, or was it a full volley? I'm not sure. I think it was a full volley. And there you go, man. 25th minute, we open the scoring, man. I was just wrapped, man. That kind of pressure breeds mistakes, guys. I'm always pressing, guys. Always trying to, you know, take any opportunity I can. And Son was fantastic there. You know, just a double square there and bang on the volley as sweet as you bloody like. After that, man, they really sprung to life. Um, taking a snapshot, you know, Besiktas just weren't having it, man. They were not going to go down without a fight. Um, as you can see, we're playing a ball to Cochrane. Steps inside, a bit of magic feet. Bang, quality save from the keeper. Keita tries to force it in, but I'm really not sure how that ball doesn't go in. But what can anybody do, man? Um, here we go, Hutchinson working something with Gomez, deflected, and sometimes those go in, man, and you just drop your head, man. You're shattered. But luckily, we got away of the corner, but there was something special, guys. 1 2 right here, sweet little ball back, bang, top corner. And yeah, just before half time, <laughs> it's just a coach killer, man. I mean, you're doing so well throughout the game. You're thinking, we're going into the break, 1-0 up, we'll reassess, we'll see what we need to do. And bang, it's just 1-1 like that. I was thinking to myself, our job just got so much harder. I mean, we still need to score, the job it still remains the same. But at the same time, we have to be more wary at the back because we cop another goal, man. And that's good night. All of a sudden, we have to score three goals. Um, and, you know, it's quite difficult to do that when a team's just going to sit back and just soak everything that you have. So... Second half, mate, it had to be something special. Kata here playing the ball through uh, to Rhoda, and we almost found Witzel, man. I mean, he sometimes get onto those, but I don't know, man. He, he just doesn't have that kind of pace that, you know, just blows defenders away and gets onto those through balls, sadly. Um, but here you go, Witzel, that's where you want him operating. Plays the ball through to Gabbiadini, and I've got no idea how he hasn't finished that. I mean, that's his bread and butter. He loves that kind of crap where he can just... Yeah, power the ball into the net, but yeah, mate, um, just pretty disappointed with that. And um, as you can see, there, Besiktas squaring the ball to Mario Gomez, and maybe that's why he's on loan, man. Really should be doing better. You know, a player of his experience, of his former class, should be doing much better than that. And as you can see, Lamella comes off the bench, and have a look at this, guys. Chip Rubel, bang on the volley to Dembele. I went ape shit. I mean, I'm jumping around. I throw the controller up. I loved it, man. Now, Harry Kane with the initial steal. Take nothing away from that, man. But look at the ball. I mean, look at the athleticism from Dembele, guys. Um, you know, with a couple of minutes to spare, you know, I just said to myself, we're going to see this out. No matter what, we see this game out. And, and we did, guys. And as you can see, the fans are going absolutely apeshit. We progressed to the quarter finals of the Europa League. And, man, it was just some European magic, guys. You know, we dug in deep, we defended well, we kept them to minimal chances, we created our own, took our chance, and that was all she wrote, man. Uh, but just wanted to show you guys the following month. Um, as you can see, we have Napoli in the next Europa League uh, clash, but the whole month, man, it's messed up. Quality everywhere. I mean, we got Liverpool away, we have um, Stoke away, Manchester at home. Uh, we have Chelsea away, so it's going to be a make-or-break month, guys. Also, we have the semi-finals of the FA Cup. I mean, it's just getting more and more epic, guys. As you wind down the season, the pressure just continually rises and rises. And um, as you can see, May is a little quiet, but obviously that's where trophies are won and lost. And just to wrap up the episode, guys, we're going to look at the table and how that leaves us lying. As you can see, we have two games in hand. I'm not really sure how the league's working out there, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, Chelsea obviously won their game, so good on them. And um, as you can see, City is well within our grasp. Um, you know, Arsenal is really not really going to trouble us at all. And it's just really up to them to see that fourth spot out. United aren't really going to pip them. Neither are Everton or West Brom. I mean, it's, it's just been a pretty poor showing from Man United and Liverpool. Just leaving it far too late, doing nothing throughout the season. And, you know, in the relegation zone, you got Watford, Norwich, Sunderland. Basically, have their fate sealed. But... You know, there's always a bit of magic, but I highly doubt it, man. They've got to string about three or four wins together. Hope that the other teams fall apart. And, um, yeah, guys, so I'm going to wrap up the episode there. Thanks for watching. I'm your man, Edgar TV 11 Take care.